Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rick at Techspin, and while getting my next video ready, I noticed I was having trouble getting both my Windows 10 PCs to turn on for the first time from a shutdown state. How do we fix it? Let's get to it. Okay, so my problem was this. With the PC off, I pressed the power button on the case and the PC posted BIOS and continued loading, showing the Windows logo. Suddenly, the whole unit turned off. Now this happened with both my old i7-2600K rig as well as my new i7-7700K. My MSI Z270 titanium board was also doing this for quite some time. I thought it was an issue with the board or BIOS, but after updating the latest BIOS and doing a lot of troubleshooting, I still had the issue. Using the onboard power button made no difference. Pressing the power button a second time, the unit posted BIOS, loaded Windows, and got to the desktop no problem. Weird, right? So it seemed like my problem started happening after Windows 10 received the anniversary update. I googled and went through a lot of reboot loop issues before I found one page that covers the problem. And as it turns out, the solution is simple and very easy. First, this assumes that you're not stuck in a reboot loop. That's another issue entirely. This is for a single reboot during startup and the next time you can reach the desktop just fine. Okay, so when you get to the desktop first, right click on the Windows icon, lower left, and use the right mouse button to click. You'll get the secret start menu. You can also get there by pressing the Windows key plus X. Click on power options near the top. You'll get a new window that seems unhelpful. You'll see choose what the power buttons do in the column on the left and click on that. In this window, we want to access the bottom options which are currently grayed out. So click on the blue change settings that are currently unavailable. When you do that, the link goes away and the shutdown settings at the bottom all become active. Click on turn on fast startup recommended to disable it. Click on save changes at the bottom right of the window, which will close it. Now you won't have any more problems. If this video helped you out or if it's good info, please help me out by clicking on that little hand icon that looks like a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Thanks so much. If you want to see more videos like this, then please do subscribe for new content and click that bell icon to get notified when I put up a new video. I always read the comments, so if you have a question or if I miss something, then please tell me down below. And let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon. Bye for now.